and gentlemen, Dennis Day. Oh, I think I'd seem worthwhile Dwells in your eyes And the spell of your smile Dennis Day is brought to you by Palm Olive Soap and Luster Cream Shampoo. Palm Olive Soap, your beauty hope. Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous, dream girl hair. <laughs> the Dennis Day Show with B. Benadaret, Dink Trout, George Dooning in the orchestra, and yours truly, Vern Smith, is written by Frank Galen and stars our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. <laughs> Here's Dennis to sing, Hair of Gold, Eyes of Blue. I came down from Butte, Montana, for a little change of scene. And a hay where I met a pretty queen. Oh, hair of gold, eyes of blue, lips like cherry wine. The prettiest gal I ever knew, and I'm gonna make her mine. Oh, I planned to leave on Monday, but she held me kind of tight. So I held the ground and hung around, and I left on Friday night. Oh, hair of gold, eyes of blue, lips like cherry wine. The prettiest gal I ever knew, and I'm gonna make her mine. I was kind of blue and lonely, so I took my horse and packed. And on Sunday morn was up and gone, heading south and riding back. Oh, hair of gold, eyes of blue, lips like cherry wine. The prettiest gal I ever knew, and I'm gonna make her mine. Hair of gold, eyes of blue, lips like cherry wine. The prettiest gal I ever knew, and I'm gonna make her mine. Ladies, what's your complexion problem? My skin's so dingy. Mine's oily. My skin's dull, coarse-looking. For a lovelier complexion, you must stop improper cleansing. Instead, use palm olive soap the way doctors advise. Leading skin specialists have now proved the palm olive plan using nothing but palm olive soap can bring fresher, brighter complexions. Yes, regardless of age, type of skin, or previous beauty care. Now, here's what these doctors advise. Wash your face with palm olive soap. Massaging for one minute with palm olive, soft, lovely lather. This cleansing massage brings your skin palm olive soap full, beautifying effect. Rinse. Do this three times a day for 14 days. It's that simple. But remember, 36 doctors, leading skin specialists, advise this way for 1,285 women with all types of skin. Dry, oily, normal, young, older. And prove this plan using palm olive alone, nothing else, really works for two out of three. So for a lovelier complexion, forget all other beauty care. Instead, do as these doctors advise. Use palm olive for a fresher, brighter complexion. For loveliness all over, use big, thrifty bath size palm olive in your tub or shower. Our young hero, Dennis Day, is a lad who learned in his early boyhood to smile in the face of adversity. And judging from the life he's led, he's been smiling constantly ever since. But even he doesn't seem able to muster up a smile tonight. For you see, his girlfriend, Mildred, has gone to visit her grandmother for a week, and our young hero is taking her absence mighty hard. We find him now pouring out his woes into the most sympathetic little ear in the Anderson household. She I don't know what to do with myself. Seems like she's been gone two months instead of two days. Now, now, buck up, my boy. We're going to have some fun tonight. I'm taking you to our club smoker. Oh, thanks a lot, Mr. Anderson, but I don't smoke. <laughs> you might when you see Tassel's Latour, the red-headed ball of fire. Huh? She's a bubble dancer. A bubble dancer? Sure. You know, a girl who dances with a bubble. Can't you get a feller? <laughs> Of course she can. But there's some men who'd rather watch her dance with a bubble. 
Gee, well, I guess it takes all kinds to make a world. Yeah. Uh, not that Tassels is going to do her bubble dance at our club dinner, of course. We just hired her to sing a few songs because she's the only professional entertainer we can get. Oh. But is she something to look at? Oh, <laughs> my quivering soul and body. <laughs> Oh, gosh, how does Mrs. Anderson feel about letting you go to a club smoking when there's a woman like that present? Oh, it makes no difference, Pussy. She wouldn't let me go whether Tassels was there or not. <laughs> but I thought you just invited me. Well, sure. You see, you're part of my alibi. I am? Yes. I told Pussy that you and I were going over to John Campbell's tonight to see the pictures he took on his fishing trip. Yeah? And John handed his wife the same story, that he was coming over here. Boy, you got quite a head on those little shoulders. Ah, sure. <laughs> You're absolutely safe as long as Pooksy doesn't get together with Mrs. Campbell. Yes, and that, that's hardly likely. Gosh, I hate to lie to Pooksy, but, well, gee, a fellow's got to enjoy himself once in a while. My home's the happiest in the whole world, but uh, occasionally I do get a little, uh, well, uh... Stir crazy? <laughs> Certainly not. You don't imagine I think of my home as a prison, do you? Why, that thought has never Mother. ended. Yes, Warden. <laughs> I mean, y yes, Pooksy. What's the Campbell's phone number? The, the Campbell's number? Why, why, what, what, what do you want that for, passion girl? <laughs> well, since you and Dennis are going over there tonight, I thought I'd ask Mrs. Campbell to come over here. Oh, no, no, that's... I, I mean, mean uh, well, they haven't got a phone, Pussy. Have they, Dennis? No, the telephone company took it out, Mrs. Anderson. Took it out? What for? Unnecessary jiggling. <laughs> what? Oh, it's the truth, Mrs. Anderson. I happened to call up Mr. Campbell about an hour after their phone was removed, and he told me all about it. He said that... Dennis! Oh, yeah, I see the hole in it now. <laughs> There's one just like it in your head. <laughs> now, step aside. Operator, I want Mrs. J.H. Campbell on Wilson Boulevard, please. Oh, hey, I'm dead. <laughs> what did you say? He said she's dead. <laughs> Who's dead? Oh, Mrs. Campbell, they're holding the wake tonight for men only. <laughs> Are you crazy? I passed her on the street this afternoon. Did she wave? <laughs> no. See? <laughs> Dennis Day, will you... Oh, hello. Is Mrs. Campbell in? This is Clara Anderson. Oh, she'll be back in an hour. No, don't bother. I'll call her then. Goodbye. So Mrs. Campbell is dead, is she? Oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I make them now and then. <coughs> well, you'll never top the one your mother and father made. <laughs> well, at least you got a little reprieve, Mr. Anderson. Oh, but what good is it? In an hour, she'll talk to Mrs. Campbell, and then... Oh, I remember once before she caught me in a lie. She bowled me out for two days solid. It must have been awful. Yeah, of course, I was only able to hear her the second day. <laughs> Gee, what are we going to do? Dennis, I have it. Well, enjoy it. You haven't much time left. <laughs> I mean, I have an idea. Listen, yeah. if we could get some woman to call up Pooksy and say that she's Mrs. Campbell, yeah. all our troubles would be over. We'd have her tell Pooksy that she was busy. Yeah, then neither of them would ever know the truth. And I know just who we can get to do it, too. That spinster around the corner who has such a crush on you, Miss Baker. Uh, will you ask her, Dennis? Gosh, I'm scared to go near that woman. Why? You can handle her? She always handles me, and I'm ticklish. <laughs> Nonsense. She's old enough to be your mother. Sure, and she looks like my father, but that doesn't stop her. <laughs> oh, well. I'll do it for you, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> little bundle of oomph you. <laughs> what brings you here all of a sudden, and who cares? 
Hello, Miss Baker. <laughs> Don't stand out there in the cold, dark street, dear boy. Come into my warm, dark living room. <laughs> and, um, sit down, you gorgeous thing. Here, here on the couch beside me. Well, okay, but you sit down first. No, you first. Oh, no. Last time I sat down first, and quick as a flash, you were under me, and I was sitting on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. And uh, let's see if I've lost any speed, huh? <laughs> Gee whiz, you're getting so embarrassed. Oh, you goose, you. And, uh, tell me, does that uh, little girlfriend of yours, Mildred Anderson, know you're here? Oh, no, ma'am. She's out of town. Aha! Uh -huh. When the cat's away, the mouse will play. Well, I want you to think of me as something any little mouse would just adore. <laughs> I always have. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, what seems to be on your mind? I guess I've made mine pretty obvious. <laughs> well, Mr. Anderson and I are in trouble, Miss Baker. You see, we told Mrs. Anderson we were going over to the Campbell's tonight, but actually we were going to the club smoker. Why, you dog. <laughs> well, anyway, we just want you to call Mrs. Anderson and say you're Mrs. Campbell, and then tell her you can't be with her tonight, would you? Well, if... Uh... If I do this for you, what will you do for me? I knew you were going to ask me that question. I want you to know I'm totally unprepared for it. <laughs> would, you, would you take me out on a date some night? It's a deal. Oh, you dreamed, are you? Oh, I'm going to live. <laughs> Now, you're, you're sure you know what to do. Yes. I, I call Mrs. Anderson, say I'm Mrs. Campbell, and that my husband... Oh, oh Miss Baker, what's the matter? I'm just saying I had one made me all goose pimply. <laughs> Please, we have to hurry. Well, all right. Oh, my goodness, see what you do to me. The blood is just racing through every inch of my body. Oh, it's probably just trying to get the trip over with. Use <laughs> the phone, Miss Baker. Go to work. We'll continue our day in the life of Dennis Day in just a moment. Meanwhile, here's Dennis to sing, I'm sorry, but I'm glad. I'm sorry, but I'm glad you're lonesome. Cause if you weren't, you really wouldn't care. I'm so glad you haven't any peace of mind. For another heart to share I'm sorry but I'm glad you're crying All because your dream fell through But if it makes you feel a little better I'm crying and I'm lonesome too I'm sorry but I'm glad you're crying all because your dream fell through. But if it makes you feel a little better, I'm crying and I'm lonesome Well, Mr. Anderson's story to his wife that he was visiting Mr. Campbell's house tonight seems to have been a highly successful fabrication, thanks to a phone call from Dennis's friend, Miss Baker. We find him now with Dennis and Mr. Campbell at the club smoker, which seems to be in full swing. Ha, 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 ha. So, so the farmer looks at this fellow and he says, No, by cracky, not till the price of corn goes up. Ha, ha. Killer camel. Oh, that's the best I've heard all night. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, didn't you like that story? Oh, sure. Wait till I figure it out. Will you hear laughing? 
You had to bring him, I suppose, Anderson. Well, he's a good boy. Besides, it makes my wife less suspicious. Yeah. We sure fooled him with that story of being at each other's house, didn't we? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we sure did. Hey, you know, sometimes I think women are pretty stupid. Oh, sure, sure. No question about it. Men are much smarter than women on the average. Not till the price of corn goes up. <laughs> Of course, now and then you run across a case that drives the average way down. Yeah. Say, look who's coming over to our table. Wow, Tassel's Latour. Yeah. Must have heard me whistling at her while she was singing. Huh? Hello, fellas. Having a good time? You bet, Miss Latour. I'll say. Oh, yes, ma'am. Your singing was just wonderful. You wouldn't kid a young girl, would you? Oh, no, ma'am. Or you either. Hmm. <laughs> Pay no attention to him, Miss Latour. He isn't half like us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're J.H. Campbell, the banker, aren't you? That's me. Nobody, draws... nobody draws interest like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I had you spotted. Mind if I sit down? Park it right on my lap, lady. I love my wife, but oh, you kid! <laughs> Gee, how smooth can you get? <laughs> There we are, baby. Comfy. Mm, perfect. Okay, Dave, snap it. Right, hold it. A perfect shot. Thank you. Hey, did, did that fella... Oh, sure thing, Cuddles. My press agent needed a shot of me sitting on the town's most prominent lap. Well, publicity, huh? Publicity? Why, you, you, you... Uh, see you tomorrow morning on the front page, J.H. So long. Oh, no. No. <laughs> hey, that's a good one on you, Camel. All she wanted on your lap was a picture. <laughs> oh, yeah? Have you forgotten you were sitting right next to me? <laughs> What'll your wife say when she sees it? Oh, my sacred Aunt Sally's polka dot animal castle. <laughs> What are we going to do? My wife will leave me. Mine will leave me lying there. <laughs> Dennis, think of something, for heaven's sake. Yeah, anything. Well, we told Mrs. Anderson we were going to look at pictures of Mr. Campbell's fishing trip. Let's tell her that this was just one of the pictures he took on the trip. On a fishing trip? <laughs> How do we explain Tassel's Latour? Live bait? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Wait a minute. By George, I think I've got it. That photographer is a newspaper man, right? Well? And a newspaper man can't resist a story, right? Well, what of it? Well, in five minutes, there's going to be the biggest fight and riot in history right across the street in Clancy's Tavern. Oh, boy, can we see it? See it? You're going to be in it. <laughs> huh? Don't you get it? We go over and pick a fight with a couple of guys. John stays here, and in five minutes, he starts yelling, Riot! Murder! Big fight across the street! Yeah? Sure. The photographer runs over to take pictures, and we grab his camera and smash it into an unrecognizable pulp. By that time, we'll be kind of hard to identify ourselves. <laughs> it's our only chance, don't you see, Dave? Sure. Come on, Dennis. Now, remember, John, five minutes. Boy, all the trouble I'm getting into over this thing. I might just as well be in the same position as you fellas. Don't be silly, Dennis. Tomorrow, you will be single, but our trouble never stops. <laughs> Anybody we could pick a fight with? Hey, how about those two over there? Where? In the corner. See? One of them's putting on her lipstick. <laughs> now, don't be silly. This has to be a real struggle. Yeah, I guess they do outweigh us. <laughs> hey, look. Those two big Marines over there. Now, that's more like it. Huh? They look like murderers. Are we in luck? Yeah, some days everything goes just right. Uh, oh, they're perfect. And, you know, if one fights, they'll both fight. Men in uniform always stick together. Yeah, but we, couldn't we wait for a couple of Western Union boys? <laughs> oh, no, this is it, then. Now, go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Gosh, I don't know how a fight starts. I've always been single. Well, here goes. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Oh, yeah? You and who else? <laughs> Just try it, that's all. Oh, mister. Come outside and call me that. <laughs> well, 
what are you talking about, anyway? Put your hands in front of your face and keep them there, pal. I'm going to hit you right in the stomach. <laughs> hey, what is it? Come on, fight. I don't want to fight. <laughs> I thought so. Marine, see going bellhop. Beth, what a crummy branch of the story. <laughs> Yeah, you said it. I've been trying to transfer to the Navy for years. <laughs> huh? Sure, the Army and the Navy got it all over us Marines. Oh, yeah? Well, I think the Marines are the best outfit in the world, and I'll lick anybody who says they aren't. Well, now you mention it, I have met some pretty nice ones. <laughs> off my side, will you? Look, uh, it's getting kind of late, Sonny. I'm due back at the base. See ya, huh? Hey, wait, please. Couldn't you throw a chair at us or slug us with a bottle or something? Couldn't you, huh? Couldn't you, huh? Huh? Look, kid, take a tip. Hereafter, lay off the torpedo juice. It'll shrink your brain. Even yours. So long, <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Anderson. Well, it wasn't your fault, Dennis. Well, it's, it's all over now. Yeah, it looks like that picture will be in the paper tomorrow, all right. Yes, and when Popsy sees There's it... There's a bunch of like I told you. What a mess. Guns, knives, nice furniture, blood. Look, it's... 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 It's murder? Yeah, yours and mine, first thing in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, Dennis. Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Well, has she... has she seen it yet? No, but she'll be down any minute. And then our marriage will be over forever. And it was such a beautiful relationship, Dennis. We were Tristram and Isolde, Romeo and Juliet all over again. Yeah, when you weren't Lewis and Walcott. <laughs> oh, we had our little differences, but we always patched them up until this. This is the end. If we could only keep her from seeing the paper... It's no use. She'll ask for it first thing. She always does. Yeah, but maybe we could tell her that... Shh, shh, I hear her coming. Good morning, Herbert. Dennis. Good morning, Mrs. Anderson. Good morning, my dear kind wife, who was merciful and sweet and kind and smiled no matter what happened. <laughs> What's this nonsense now? Have you the morning paper, Herbert? Oh, there is no morning paper this morning, Mrs. Anderson. No morning paper? Why not? A big paper shortage sprang up last night. <laughs> what, well, what could cause such a sudden paper shortage? Too many people rubbing instead of blotting. <laughs> Very funny. Now, let's have the paper. Well, you wouldn't want to see it, dear. Yeah, the news is awful. Oh, there was a big flood down south, a terrible flood. Florida is now located off Boston. <laughs> you just couldn't stand the news, Poopsie. Hurricane kills millions on West Coast. Fire destroys Canada. Earthquake levels the whole Far East. Little Abner floods dog patch with schmooze. Now, you can stop this silliness right now. I want that paper. But, Poopsie... It's no use, Mr. Anderson. We've lied enough. It's time now to tell the truth. What? Mrs. Anderson, lies and trickery and deceit are far into my nature when I see they won't work. <laughs> Your husband wasn't at the Campbell's last night. He was at the club smoker. The club smoker? Yes, the picture in the paper tells all. In the paper? Give it to me. Now, dear... Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, The only picture here is, is of someone named Dave Collins, Tassel the tourist press agent. Huh? It says his taxi was in an accident late last night and all his camera equipment and pictures were destroyed. <laughs> what? You mean if this fool had no his mouth, you never would have known? Oh, no. Herbert Anderson. You have to wait your turn. Dennis J. Oh, wait, no, Mr. Anderson, please. This isn't like you. Wait, you're not your daughter or your wife, you know. You I can lick. Wait, stand back. Help, don't do that. Dennis Day will be back in just one minute to sing In the Still of the Night. But first... Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful 
Buster Cream Girl. Tonight, you can see this come true, revealed by a Luster Cream shampoo. You'll see your hair lovelier, your wave or curls softer, more glamorous, easy to do quickly. Even in hardest water, Luster Cream Shampoo leaves hair three ways lovelier. Fragrantly clean, easier to manage, brilliant with sheen. Don't wait. Tonight, use Luster Cream Shampoo. Not a soap, not a liquid, but a dainty, magical cream. Discover why it's by far the top favorite cream shampoo. Get the big jar, one dollar. Smaller sizes, either tubes or jars. Tonight, you can be a dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl. You owe your crowning glory to a luster cream shampoo. From the musical score of Rosalie, here now is Dennis to sing Cole Porter's In the Still of the Night. week, tune in to another Dennis Day show brought to you by Palmolive Soap, Your Beauty Hope, and Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous, dream girl hair. <laughs> dentists know what cleans teeth best, and over 4,000 dentists say Colgate tooth powder with a two-minute routine gets teeth sparkling and super clean. So to remove dull film and get your teeth shining clean, just brush teeth two minutes morning and night with Colgate tooth powder. Brush inside, outside, and biting surfaces. Always brush away from the gums. See how quickly this gets teeth naturally bright. It removes dull film that improper brushing misses. And Colgate tooth powder also sweetens your breath. Try it. Buy Colgate tooth powder today. This is Vern Smith reminding you that Dennis Day returns again next week, same time, same station. Join us then, won't you? Good night. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.